Social media stands as the bane of societal well-being, particularly in the context of romance. The very essence of romance, defined by the thrill and mystery associated with love, has undergone a transformative shift due to the pervasive influence of social media. This digital realm depersonalizes relationships and establishes unrealistic benchmarks for romantic ideals. Undoubtedly, the impact of social media extends beyond romantic relationships to alter the fabric of human communication as a whole. As individuals increasingly dedicate an average of 2 hours and 35 minutes per day to various media platforms, the convenience of instantaneous connections comes at a steep price, a decline in effective communication skills. The richness of in-person communication, with its nuances of physical presence, eye contact and real-time reactions, surpasses the limitations of digital interaction. The pitfalls of social media in communication are evident in its potential for misinterpretation and misunderstanding. Texts or status updates can easily lose their intended meaning on the vast expanse of the Internet, devoid of the contextual cues provided by facial expressions, voice intonation, and body language. Moreover, social media establishes an elevated standard for what society deems romantic. Platforms like Instagram, boasting over 14 million posts tagged with the hashtag couple goals, inundate users with images of seemingly perfect relationships, ranging from enchanting dates to exotic adventures, dubbed as vacations, and meticulously edited video clips of significant others. This curated media narrative thrusts an idealized image of relationships upon individuals, inherently sowing seeds of insecurity. The implied expectation becomes a quest for an equally extravagant relationship, a constant display of affection as the women crush Wednesday, and the obligatory sharing of every idyllic moment on the online stage. Rather than addressing the authentic aspects of a relationship, individuals often prioritize the external perception of their connection. However, the pursuit of an appealing facade comes at the expense of appreciating the genuine bonds one has. While the internet and social media have undeniably introduced transformative elements to our world, altering the dynamics of social interactions, one must question the associated costs. In today's landscape, relationships face increased challenges, with meaningful conversations reduced to texting, arguments confined to phone calls, and emotions condensed into status updates. It is my firm belief, regardless of any opposing arguments, that Tinder is not a dating app, but rather a platform primarily geared towards casual encounters and hookups. As I reiterated before, social media stands as the ruination of society, steering people's focus toward the pursuit of synthetic internet validation rather than real-life connections. The pervasive influence of a fabricated Instagram lifestyle fuels an obsession with appearances, with individuals believing and feeling entitled to everything showcased by those they follow. This shift in focus diminishes the willingness to invest in genuine effort. The lure of spending hours engrossed in others' lives through social media can lead to neglecting the person physically present beside you. This unidirectional stimulation can induce a sense of detachment and numbness. Furthermore, the constant exposure to seemingly happy portrayals on social media may breed insecurity as individuals compare themselves to the deceptive happiness projected by others. For a first-hand perspective on the impact of social media, consider the insights shared by this girl. I'm a 22-year-old woman who deactivated my Instagram account two years ago, only a few months after creating it. While I wasn't particularly active on the platform, I managed to accumulate a few thousand followers during that short period so I know how it works. The majority of my followers were males in their early 20s. Although my posts featured normal pictures without being overly provocative, they did sometimes subtly showcase my physique. Back in high school, I was considered popular and deemed quite attractive. Even before Instagram, I attracted the attention of handsome guys. Whenever I posted on the platform, I would receive messages or likes from a multitude of guys, many of whom were in relationships. Some of these guys were considered respectful and were part of seemingly stable long-term relationships. This situation had a profound impact on my trust in men. It was disheartening to see individuals in seemingly committed relationships engaging in such behaviour. These were the guys everyone thought would eventually get married, often described as amazing.
This experience seriously distorted my perception of men. Despite not having a negative reputation, this behavior made me wary, and even my male friends would playfully tease me about being hard to get. It's worth noting that my first kiss was at 17, and it occurred with a boyfriend who wasn't active on social media. My closest friend still uses Instagram and occasionally shares screenshots of mutual friends who are in relationships, following numerous girls simultaneously or liking numerous older pictures from girls. These friends observe these impeccably photoshopped images of girls and question why their girlfriends aren't similar. The situation worsens if they believe they can grab the attention of these girls through likes and direct messages. Women often find themselves objectifying their image for the sake of attention. I too once had an Instagram account. I posted pictures wearing tight tops because I knew they would garner the most likes. I organized photo shoots with my friends just to have something to share every other week. I selected pictures that accentuated my curves the most. At the time, I confidently asserted that it wasn't for attention and that I simply liked the photos. In retrospect, I can now admit that I appreciated the attention, which is why I took and shared those specific pictures in the first place. My images would circulate in guys' chat groups, discussions about them would unfold at school, and male friends would forward me screenshots from these conversations. Even my sister's classmates sent screenshots of my Instagram to the class group chat, making comments about the size of my chest. It's quite absurd when I reflect on it, the most ludicrous part. I reveled in the attention. So please, don't try to convince me that you don't post for attention when sharing these types of pictures. I know it, guys know it, and you'll eventually come to realize it if you contemplate the matter a bit. My college friends have collectively decided to steer clear of social media, yet my best friend from my hometown is deeply immersed in it. She frequently travels with her parents and consistently shares pictures of her adventures. Despite being an amazing person, she has become thoroughly entangled in the culture of Instagram. Despite her genuine nature having had only one boyfriend and remaining faithful since their breakup three years ago, her public Instagram profile paints a misleading picture. Her feed often features images with push-up bras and in bikinis, creating an impression that doesn't align with her true character. Unfortunately, this portrayal attracts the wrong kind of attention, drawing in individuals who perceive her as promiscuous. In today's digital age, Initiating a conversation with someone you find interesting often happens through social media messages. The challenge lies in the fact that the men reaching out to her privately are often disrespectful. They interpret her profile as a signal that she's an easy target due to the images she shares. I've tried discussing this with her, drawing on my experience with an amazing boyfriend who avoided social media and was deeply committed to our relationship. She admired our connection and expressed a desire for something similar. I consistently emphasize that the way she presents herself on social media is drawing the wrong crowd and pushing away genuinely respectful men. In my opinion, and I've conveyed this to her, someone who posts provocative pictures on Instagram to gain attention from the opposite gender isn't someone I would pursue a relationship with. I argue that respectful men are likely to feel the same way. I would always choose a man who refrains from using social media over someone who prioritizes it for attention-seeking behavior. I think people must wake up to the reality of the fantasy world they are creating on social media. And that's it for today on Sigma Traits. Make sure you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Support this channel through membership and super chat. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you all tomorrow.